Please, for your lives! Emergency. Batman speaking. Warning all of you to brace yourselves for big news. City. Nice outfit. Wing freak terrorizes. Wait till they get a load of me. <laughs> Welcome to the special Benny TV Batman episode with my very special... Michael Caine is Alfred. Yeah. Right. The Michael Caine Alfred is just amazing. Alfred too. is supposed to be kind of badass though, isn't he? He is badass. He, does, he tells that story in the second yeah. where he My was... friends and I were in Burma. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell the story. <laughs> I don't remember it. The exact lines he goes. Some men just want to. He goes, uh, and then I saw. He goes, we were hired by the local government to stop stop some pirates that were hijacking shipment. And then I saw a child playing with a ruby, the size of a tangerine. <laughs> he just gave them away. It was photo. So I had a show at the Gotham Comedy Club oh, in New York City. Okay. So I did this. Ah, oh, that's cool. So it was because I said if Gotham needs a comedian, you know, it's like I did a thing like. Oh, I also do Billy D. Williams. We received a letter from John Santo. <laughs> if you need a comedian, call me. How do we call him? He gave us a signal. <laughs> and that's the signal. <laughs> and that's your so that's a, signal. So that's a hacky thing. You know there's going to be a did. bunch of comics being like, hey, can I get on that show? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I come, go home. <laughs> All right, anyway, we ran out of time. I had a lot of fun. This was we great. We should do a part yeah, two. This was great. Can we we, we do should do a part two. two. We'll do a part two. We we'll schedule And I'll, part I'll do my, my homework. Yeah. And here we are with part two of the Batman show here on Benny TV. That's the Batman symbol? Is it peace sign? No, it's two. Part two. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. I, Batman I Returns. Going. Batman Returns. I prefer Returns, The Dark Knight, or Justice League. That's technically a second Batman film now. Because technically yeah. the first one was Batman vs. Superman. So the, We're here for the Batman show. Um, in the uh, reboot, anyway. Yes, in the reboot. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now, technically, those are all the sequel Batman movies. Right, right. gotcha. Um, so, uh, we are here with Benny TV. I am Ryan Rizzuti. Over here is Benny Rizzuti, hence Benny, Mr. Benny TV himself. Um, <laughs> then we also have, from Laughter Saves Lives Live, John Santo. And then we also have the great Sam comedian, Jessica Colazzo. Hi. <laughs> she does many things. I do a lot of stuff. Many hats. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're here for our second Batman episode. Um, it was very popular, the last one. Everybody was talking about it on the Twitter, on the Periscope, on the Friendster. Big on Friendster. We were, re we're really big on Friendster. <laughs> um, but uh, so we're going to talk about a lot of different things, Batman, today. And I also want to talk about um, all the whole scope of DC. Mm -hmm. um, first thing I wanted to talk about was um, our Batman news of new things that have come out with bat Batman news. films. Bat news. <laughs> um, the biggest bat news that there is was yesterday, actually, for the Joker movie that we were talking about last time, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker film, which also has uh, Robert De Niro and Mark Maron signed Mark on. Mark Maron, huh? really? Mark Maron is also signed on. What's De Niro going to be? De Niro's no, supposed no. to be some sort of talk show host that drives the Joker character insane, and Mark Maron like, is like his booker. Because he repeats everything ten times. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see. I like that. I and love Mark Maron. The big the big casting news is they cast Alec Baldwin to That's be Thomas Wayne, awesome Bruce Wayne's father, and it's gonna be like a '70s esque, uh, like Joker film, so '70s esque Gotham. And they said cool. that Alec Baldwin is gonna be playing a Thomas Wayne that's like a Donald Trump type. He's an overrated actor, totally overrated. <laughs> <laughs> but it fits for Alec Baldwin. Like if anybody can play Donald Trump, obviously it's him. Yes. Well, I I'm also available. <laughs> if Alec asks too much, I work for a fraction of what he gets. <laughs> He'll just work for pasta. <laughs> Depending on the pasta, yes. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about that? What do you think about Alec Baldwin being Thomas Wayne in this weird Joker film that we don't know too much about? Batman's probably not going to be in it. It's going to be a Joker standalone film. I can but, see that. But it's Thomas Wayne, so Bruce Wayne will probably be in it in some capacity. All right. And, so, all right, so let me ask. Martin Scorsese is a producer in this? 
So oh. originally they said that he was producing with Todd Phillips uh, directing. Todd Phillips is the director of the Hangover films, old mm. school. This would be a big step up for him. His first real change mm -hmm. to like a dramatic. Wait, uh, Scorsese is the director? So he was originally producing. Recently his name hasn't been attached. Yeah. But I think he must have some sort of involvement still. Because De Niro wouldn't have signed on. You wouldn't have Alec Baldwin signing on. You wouldn't have Joaquin Phoenix. Like... There has to this script has to be a good script, yeah. and there has to be a lot of buzz behind it. Yeah. So Joaquin Phoenix is playing the Joker. He's gonna be the Joker, and it's gonna be standalone. It's not gonna cross over with the Jared Leto Joker. Okay. So you're with not the gonna Joker? with the Jared Leto like the oh. Suicide Squad Joker. Oh, right. It's not gonna cross over okay. with that. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. How do you feel about that? About the fact that it's not gonna cross over. No, or? about Joaquin Phoenix. I like it because. For a, they've been trying to get Joaquin Phoenix in a superhero movie for a while. Yeah. He was um, in very close negotiations for Doctor Strange. Really? And he uh, then <coughs> dropped out because he doesn't want to do six or seven movies. He's not that kind of actor. He just wants to do one. So right. that was what stopped him from being Doctor Strange. And what that's was why the they last got movie he did? Because I haven't seen him in a um, while. He just oh, came out with a film um, called He Won't Get Very Far on Foot. Uh, starring, uh, starring him with Gus Van Zant directing, um, who directed like Finding Forrester and uh, uh, Good Will Hunting. Okay. And the Psycho remake that we don't talk about. Um, <laughs> and the going to be a talk show host? Yeah. With that's, Vince Vaughn, that one? <laughs> yeah, the old Vince Vaughn and uh, was it Anne Haish. Yeah, Anne yes, Haish. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's why Anne Haish doesn't get work. Um, <laughs> he's going to be a talk, sh a talk show? Yeah, but he's supposed to be a talk show. De Niro's supposed to be a talk show host in this Joker movie. It's going to be very, it's going to be that's different from anything we've ever yeah. seen in the DC universe. I'm, I'm going to have parodies of this before the movie comes out. Because <laughs> yes. I'm going to do De Niro like a, bat, a bad man, a man dressed as a bat. <laughs> a Batman. You know, I'm going to have Joker. It's not even out yet. Yeah. Has that even been filmed? No. Oh, I'm going to start filming yet. I already got the parodies in the summer. <laughs> but the tentative release date is next October. Mm. It's October 2019. Yeah, um, famously, the first movie that was like a that big budget that was like suck. so fast. No, no, no. <laughs> Mission Impossible 5, Rogue Nation, which yeah. everyone really enjoys. I was, I'm a big fan of that movie. Mm -hmm. they, I haven't seen that one. They finished filming that film in like February and it came out in July. Did they you see the six? Yeah, I loved it. I loved Mission Impossible Fallout. This is not yeah. Mission Impossible talk, but Mission Impossible Fallout is great. <laughs> yeah. Great movie. And you should see it. Um, oh, all right, back, they have back, to the back to the Joker. Back to, the back back to that Joker standalone movie. The reason I asked about Martin Scorsese is because then I would like uh, Alec Baldwin because Martin Scorsese brings out the best in Alec Baldwin as an actor. Yes. He was in The Aviator, and he I thought he was Brilliant in uh, The Departed. I loved him. Oh, I loved him in The idiot. Departed. Yeah. I loved him in The, the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act. And he, and he, all right, I'm going off track. He, no, he was great in The Aviator, and so was DiCaprio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cat, oh, yeah. That was a movie I didn't like when I was younger, and then the more, like, the as I've gotten older, the more I've appreciated right. that well, movie. I'm a big aviation guy, so that... Well, I'm a big OCD cool. person, so... I know OCD, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, well, you would have been a good pilot. I would have. <laughs> yeah. This isn't uh, Alec Baldwin's first superhero movie, though. Wait, wait, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, da, 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 See if he did his homework. He was in, um... <laughs> At first I thought that was the score of the movie. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yeah, I'm helping wait, he you. wasn't in Jeopardy. Yes, this <laughs> yeah, you didn't see Jeopardy? I didn't see the Jeopardy the movie? Alex Trebek. You didn't see Jeopardy wait, the movie? What? Don't... All right, you have to tell me. Right. Don't tell me. He was the shadow. The shadow. The shadow. Oh yeah. Because you remember when Batman came yeah, out? Yeah, instead yeah. of being like, let's make more DC movies and Marvel movies, they said let's take all these pulp serial right, right. characters, forgot, like the yeah. Phantom and the Shadow, and make heroes out of him. And like he them. did. He did find the Red October, so we got to give him credit. for Yes, that. he did find the Red October, and he's done many things. He's a man of many hats. He's yeah. in Mission Impossible Fallout, so it actually was fitting that, and yes. Rogue Nation. Yep. So he it is fitting that we spoke about both of those films. And I, I like him as an actor, so... Uh, I love Alec Ball. So, yeah. Now, the Ben Affleck, a lot of people were saying that he may not be in the next one. I saw that news That's today. heavy speculation. Also, he did just go back into rehab. Yep. Yeah. So that's a big thing. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, that's and, sad. you know, I feel like from the outside looking in, obviously we don't really know, 
but it looks like Batman has taken such a toll on Ben Affleck's yeah, life. Yeah. Like being Batman has taken such a toll on this poor man's life. And don't like, forget, I mean, say what you will about Ben Affleck, he did get those people out of a ramp. So <laughs> let's he did know. save those. He pe- saved those he made people. A fake he film. is a hero. He made a fake in some movie. Way. He got the people out of a ramp. <laughs> yeah. He saved those poor people. <laughs> Argo, he robbed, if he, you robbed, seen. he robbed Fenway Park. Yep. As a Yankee fan, yep. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna like Ben Affleck as Batman, but he really is. I was just really in general. Just I, I didn't think I was gonna like Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah. he really was. But nobody great. could be as he bad was, as Val Kilmer, so that, and George Clooney. So I like I yeah, happen Michael to Keaton. like Batman Forever. I like with, both of them with, but with I uh, Kilmer. Too. Right, I like, I like the that movie one. despite him. Oh. I like them. I don't fully blame them. I blame more the direction. Yeah. Yeah. I blame more the Schumacher's direction of what they were trying to go for. And yeah. I feel like they never had an actor that fit what Schumacher was trying to go for in the Batman role. They had it in the right. villains. Right. Because clearly, yeah. Schwarzenegger, Uma Thurman, Tommy Lee Jones, they knew what yeah. movie they were in. Tommy Lee Jones was awesome. Yeah, like the Jim Carrey as well. Like they Jim knew Carrey. what movie they were in. But the um, they should have had Val Kimmel flying the bat yet. They, could, they couldn't have said you up for this one, Maverick. I mean, they could have done a little thing <laughs> like that, you know. And it would have been fitting a lot more back then because back that, then, yeah, it was closer to that. But, but yeah, now I like that Tom movie though. I, I thought they brought it back to the Wayne family, to yes. you know, to him and his the loss of his parents because the first Tim Burton movie. I just during the month from the last Batman show. I watched Batman Begins Again. Mm -hmm. I watched um, um, Michael Keaton, the uh, first Batman with Michael Keaton. And uh, that was a, that story is really totally off. That's something about Batman. You could be a fan of Batman, but it has nothing to do with the actual origin of Batman. The the Joker is uh, the origin, but Jack Nicholson pulls it off. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's totally like, it's totally disconnected, but it had a great look. It had a 40s look. Yep. I enjoy the movie. I can watch that movie over and over. And the musical score was fantastic. was fantastic with uh, Danny Elfman yep. from Oingo Boingo. Fantastic. Yes, Oingo Boingo. Oingo Bo- <laughs> but the second movie with the penguin with those flippers. And- See, now that's where you I love disagree. Danny DeVito, because though. personally, I like <laughs> Batman Returns more now, looking back at it, than I like the 1989 Batman because I feel like they were bolder. They did more. And, like, my thing is, you, you're you okay with them changing the Joker storyline, how they made the Joker different and how he ends up... Be, he's the one who kills Batman's parents in that, right? Right, and, yes. You know, he's a gangster turned wrong. But it's wrong that they made the Penguin out to be this almost, like, monster, sewer monster. Alexander which, Cobblepot. <laughs> and he was still... He was, he was still a Cobblepot. He was still a rich heir but it was just he was a rich heir that was a sewer that was a sewer <laughs> rat almost. It was a sewer penguin. Well, and once again, Christopher they, Walken. I love Christopher oh, Walken. Yeah. That's right. And it was a Whoa, cool. Was it was a Christmas movie. What are you movie. doing, couple pot? Yeah. <laughs> you guys might have been uh, what did he say? Prep school boys together. Yeah. <laughs> Oswald. I thought his name was Oswald. Oswald. Yeah. What did I say? Alexander. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, maybe it's Oswald his dad. But it was Oswald. His father in that. That's one of That's the things right. I like. Yeah. Somebody Google that for us and see if I'm just... No, it's Oswald. She's it's, right. It is Oswald. No, but, but the father. Maybe oh, the I father. Maybe I got that from the yeah. cemetery. Imagine that. I Could, pulled be. That yeah. Could be. Could be. I think you just pulled that out of somewhere. Or I could have pulled it out of my ass. Yeah. There's no possibilities. <laughs> One, I'm a genius, and I remembered it from the tombstone. All right, but yeah. Two, I'm an asshole. (laughs) So Tim Burton messed with the origins like crazy. Yes. Yes. And he did. Like you said, the Joker killed... And the Joker was always a bad guy. We know his name, Jack Napier. Right, right. But Nicholson just pulled it off. The The only thing bad about that, like you said, that's not the origin of the Joker, is that... People that aren't as familiar with Batman from the comic books now are going to think that that's the origin of the Joker. Mm-hmm. So you've created another generation of people that are in a separate um, timeline, if you will, or a separate storyline from the original. And that's what that's where that, even though it worked well, in the movie, it's also creating a, 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 a diffusive, is that a word? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a diffusive. What's okay, diffusive. All right, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It's making it separate, but... Uh, something I mean, about Batman is that <laughs> something I noticed with he's Batman. He's generational. He's generational. Right. So you can change uh, the last episode. Jessica's talked about the Joker has uh, certain many different uh, possible 
origins. Right. right. So you don't know his real... And Batman from the comics to the first TV series to always changes. And right. for some reason, uh, everyone loves Batman. You know, most people love Batman as a character, and we accept those. Right. So then Christopher Nolan comes along and brings it closer to the comics, and we accept it, which I think is very strange. Right. Diversion. <laughs> but the that diversion. was the word I was looking for. Yeah. Diversion. Diversion. Yeah. Diffusive. What the hell did I do? <laughs> um, right. But uh, like what you were saying with it becoming diffusive. Then it becomes fact. <laughs> but now diffusive. we have, you know, now I'd rather... Now diffusive is diversion. Yeah, you know? I'd rather have that, like the stuff with the Joker and that, than, oh, Batman and, and Superman didn't get along until they both found out that their mother's name was Martha. Stupid. Oh, that's that's so stupid. Why that's did you terrible. say that name? I'm like, come on. So they awful. make him out to be like a whiny, like deranged baby. He's a deranged baby in that film. Oh, uh, who? Batman? Yeah, Batman. Like the character, and like, I like Ben Affleck in that movie. I do But too. I don't like hi him. I don't I like the like character. I also like how they Wayne. made him really scary. It was almost like a horror movie, yeah. that scene where he like pops oh. out from the shadow. Oh, in the and beginning, the and they're shooting. Yeah, yeah. I, I really I like really that. I really like that. And there are some Batman stories, even comics you read, Sometimes it's like he doesn't he doesn't want to kill somebody, but if you're a criminal and you don't give him the information, you got a piece of glass in your artery, he'll tell you, right? right? He'll tell you uh, the only thing to take you to the hospital is me. So right. you can bleed to death, or you can tell me what I need to know. Well, one of the so, things he does in the movies I mean, that I like is that he won't kill somebody, but he's like, but I won't let I won't I won't save you. Right. I'm not gonna kill you, but I don't have to save your life, which they used in Batman Begins, which was great. And like, well, yeah, it works exactly with what you said. But I don't. What I don't like is when he's just like, no, I'm just gonna run people over, and I don't care because I'm Batman. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question because we talked about Batman Returns. Do you remember in Batman Returns how the bat signal was activated and then a bunch of mirrors and everything reflected it onto the library in Wayne Manor? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What if he had people over when that was activated? I mean, I don't mean to be like that, but I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the bat thing is on, and it's like. You know, unless that's a room that people never go in or something, but yeah, I was like... Who comes uh, to his mansion, though? A bunch of well, drunk evil, models. Some, yeah. some free he's a recluse. He's, he's my I thought that it was cool, but I'm also like, eh, what if people are over? Well, well they say the same thing with the, the piano. Like, anybody could just go over the piano. That was yeah. cool, though. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. And the door's yeah. open. But why can't it be the same? <laughs> like in the TV series, you always, it was the statue with the switch. I like that yeah. they change it, though. Yeah, me too. The I fish think, tank. What is it? A fish tank one year? I think there's probably... Yeah. It's like yeah. James Bond. It's like... Oh, God. <laughs> They had to go it's, into the fish tank. And yeah, that's something them. we should find out. Like, how many different ways can you get into the back into cave? The back it's like 46 <laughs> different ways. <laughs> At least. But they, I like what they did about the back cave in the uh, Batman Begins. How he found the caverns. And right, the, he found And the, that's yeah. been, that's in the history now, in the comic book history of Batman, is that his great-grandfather helped the slaves do, with the Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like that So I really yeah. like that. And that, uh, yeah. so so it gave a reason why they were there. Why he would right. just have these caves caverns. under the mansion. Yeah, like, these caverns. The other there. thing I liked about the Dark Knight series was that, you know, just thinking of all the materials and, and things that it would take to build all the stuff he uses, it's not just mail order. You know, this is stuff that has to be built. Even like in Star Wars, the Death Star, you know how many companies it would take to build <laughs> yeah. something like that? Yes. <laughs> Nobody knew about this? Nobody ordered, oh, you need enough metal to build a moon, you know? Or, like, the cars and stuff. But I like that Wayne, it was a military application that they just made into a baddish mm -hmm. thing. Otherwise, who builds this stuff? Yeah. Right. Jack know? Nicholson. Where does he get those, those wonderful toys, 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 right? But I do, speaking of the, of the Batmobile, I, the one thing I didn't like about Batman, the first 89 Batman, was okay. how stupid... Tim Basinger's Vicky Vale was. Yeah. Get a yeah. car. Which one? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> the one that looks like a bat, maybe. He's I, driving a taxi. Right. He's like, yeah, those, I'm in a taxi. Purple, yeah. Not the purple Joker car. And she screams the through the entire the movie. movie. The whole and movie. The whole movie. She weighs a little more than 108. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There is a big issue Ouch. with those that movies of line. writing uh, females. They do it really terribly. Mm. Up until, I would say, the Dark Knight trilogy is when they started writing women better. Yeah. Even right. then, you know, they still killed off, you know, the main female character. But I thought she actually had an interesting arc that went through both films, even if she had a different actress player. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Because it was Katie Holmes oh, and Begins, it yeah. and it's Maggie Gyllenhaal in Dark Knight. And I Terrible. Think, she was awful. See, I, I, I think Je- Gyllenhaal is much better than Katie Holmes was. Oh, Katie Holmes was terrible. Katie Holmes was awful. I think Gyllenhaal did a much better, and I wish she, she was did, in the. Yeah. I wish she was in Batman Begins. And yeah. it didn't matter though. I mean, that was something that. No, when you saw the second you, movie, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't care. She was good. Maggie Gl- Gyllenhaal was great. I really liked that. And it, you just accepted. You, know, you just like okay, a, yeah. And the whole thing, the love, the love triangle, more or less, that she loves yeah. Bruce Wayne, but she really does love Harvey Dent a lot right. more. The, the I mean, thing I really loved about that, um, the one where he goes to get the guy in, the, the TV guy, and he goes to China or Hong Kong to get him, mm-hmm. and the plane flies over and snatches him? Yeah. That was based on a real CIA program to get people out of hot spots. Really? Okay. So yeah. they fly a plane low and they grab him with that thing. And, but that was so cool, the way yeah. he was like, I believe this is your bride, Sal. Like you put, <laughs> you take, you'll have it up in a week, and he takes cash. Yeah, like, I love that. Oh, I, lo- I just it goes so thing. much more into the logistics of yes. Batman in that trilogy. That's yeah. really like the logistics. Yes. One thing that they do in Batman vs Superman that I like is I like that they show Alfred's like I making your stuff. Yes, like that was like because they don't have the Lucius Fox aspect. So it's, mm. oh, Alfred's actually very smart and makes these technologies. Yeah, I like that Alfred way better. You um, did? Than Michael Caine? Sorry, yes, I did. No, I like Jeremy Irons and Selma, too, but I don't think <laughs> well, like Michael Caine. In the last episode, you were saying that you felt Batman should, uh, Alfred should be more of a badass. That's right. And you didn't think that uh, Michael, Michael Caine, Caine was, was a badass. No. Nah. I thought he... I thought he was the type of guy that's a badass, back in but the day now he's he older. Right, back right. in the day. I agree. He's older, so he's mellower, but back in his day, he... I agree. He was like he a, was a, a SAS type, I guess. A yeah, British yeah. Special ops. Yeah, yeah special right, forces. like a British... Special air service. Yeah. 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 Uh, so somebody uh, chimed in and said that for uh, talking about uh, Batman Returns with the, with the light coming in, no one is allowed in his private study. That's why it's his private study. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hi, so, Will. Will Sharon. I know Will. So that's why nobody would go in there. That it's a private sense. study. No cleaning lady, nothing. No. Okay. Well, it, probably Alfred cleans. Right, 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 right. Alfred probably. In the I, Tim Burton one, though, there is that when he has the party and he says, uh, uh, Alfred comes and says, Sir, uh, Commissioner Gordon left in a hurry, sir. Rather and he, unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Yeah. You want to go in that door, sir? Yeah. That, like he's made the, perhaps this way? Something like that. Yeah, right. That was like, great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I liked Michael Go as that. That Alfred was like... More like the Alfred from the TV show was like the right. He was just the guy. The the other ones were more in support roles of the Batman, as opposed to the Butler, right? Would you say yeah. that's accurate? Like he was the classic English. You know, Leave everything. I'll tidy up in the. But morning. I don't. He's still to me. He's the weakest of the Alfreds. Yeah, but he was. I guess he, um, they didn't put him in that. I guess they came up with that idea later to make him more like yeah, like um, make Alfred more like the support. Over the yeah. weekend, I actually, my friend happened to put on Batman and Robin. So I watched about half of Batman and Robin over the weekend. And they, they in that film, they said, oh, let's have a great idea. Let's give Alfred a story arc. Let's give him a reason. Let's, let's write Batgirl into Alfred. And that's probably the worst decision they ever <laughs> made. Because that storyline is so bad. That it's just, Alfred's just there to die almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and... And Alicia Silverstone just there to be annoying and being like, you're mean to my uncle. You're mean to him. And I'm going to take him away so he cannot be a butler because he's a slave to you. Not that he's fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible like, choice for the bad girl. Horrible oh, Tara. She was clueless the whole time. Clueless. She was clueless. Yeah. She was clueless. Yes, she was. Yeah, she was that's <laughs> funny. Yeah. It took me a while to Brilliant get Brilliant drop. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Who, who do you think they should cast as a Batgirl in a future well, that's, Batman movie? They've been trying to make a Batgirl movie. It was going to be Joss Whedon, and then Joss Whedon dropped out for possible reasons. He was the director of Avengers. Okay. And was the person who came in and like ghost-directed uh, Justice League when Zack Snyder had to leave due to family, very sad family circumstances that we don't need to go into. But who would be a good, who do you think would be a good Batgirl? It's it's tough to say. It would have to be somebody like a young TV actress or something. They are making a Batwoman TV show, which is the, the character of Batwoman. It wasn't Batgirl, it's a different character. Right. And they cast uh, Ruby Rose to be Batwoman, who she has the look, but she's not a very good actress. 
She didn't say a damn really? thing in John Wick 2. I don't... <laughs> yes, well, I no, like that. She was no, in I did too. Orange she was is the New Black. She wasn't bad in that. That's I the only thing that. where people like her and everything else, people don't like... People hate her in John Wick. She was John in the Meg. Wick. I haven't seen the Meg yet. She was good in I, John Wick, I thought. People, so there are people that, like, hate her in John Wick, and I'm like, she doesn't talk. She's good. She's a mutant assassin. She's that's what she was model, going though. for. Like, that's her she was there was a huge backlash too. on Twitter to the point that she... Uh, deactivated oh, yeah, Twitter. Oh, yeah, I heard. Really? Yeah. Because people were so against They were saying she wasn't gay enough when she's been out since she was younger. And they said they were like, oh, she, she, you're not gay enough to be Batwoman. <laughs> you're not gay enough. And Batwoman she, is gay. Batwoman, Batwoman is, gay. is gay. How she's, do I be she's gayer? She's a famously <laughs> written gay character. It wasn't a character that they changed. She was written gay. She's And she's a great character. She leads her own uh, squad, of uh, her own Bat squad now. Um, I had in no the idea. comics. She, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a relatively new character well, within the past 20 so years. She's a vegan. Girl, 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 girl. No. She's a vegan, okay. Now, <laughs> I am... So she's not a bad girl grown up Batwoman? No, no. She became Batwoman. I forget her exact origins, but she is like she's a military background. She's, kind she's of a newish Batwoman. Character, she's though, newish. Isn't she? Yeah. she has uh if you ever you might you might have seen her, it's she has like a red mask and she has like red hair and she's Batwoman. It's different from Batgirl, but she has her own squad. She's mostly in the comics. They haven't had her crossover. She's gonna the crossover event. Apparently she did crossover. The crossover <laughs> event in the TV shows this oh. year. <laughs> the crossover event in the TV shows this year is going to be the Batwoman crossover okay. as like a backdoor pilot into her own show. So right. I'm excited for that because I don't watch Gotham. Because I don't watch I Gotham. Can. I don't watch I Gotham. Can. I think they destroyed that whole. You were like, into totally it for yeah. a while. The first season I was yeah, into I, it. I, I like the uh, Carol first Kane too. was in it. So Carol Kane was the Penguin's now mom. Now they got a Riddler Penguin oh, story. Yeah. And then then I think they had Paul Rubens come in to be the Penguin's father. They had yeah. so they had the the people from Batman Returns as the parents. So oh, that was like an interesting thing. And then I, I even liked Jada Pinkett Smith. I liked her character in the be- it's fish, but Mooney. Then, fish Mooney. Yeah, and but then, then her Mopper sidekick died. She was died. a made up character. But then though, her right? yeah, she was a made up character. And then her sidekick, the big guy, he died, and they turned him into Solomon Grundy, who oh, was a famous okay. villain of Batman. Yeah, yeah. can I can I ask but you guys? They went off. Guys, <laughs> quite about superhero movies in general. It seems like they're all starting to get to be the same. It's like, first, you, there's like one like where there's an origin of the character type piece. And then they fight some big, powerful thing and defeat it every time. Well, that's why they're so, trying to change up that formula. Marvel's doing the best of actually trying to change up that formula by making each film feel like its own distinctive thing. Like, yeah, like Black not... Panther feels like a James Bond film mixed with The Lion King, and you have like... <laughs> no! Wow. That's the, and, yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> all right, kidding. fine. The plot I'm of kidding, The Lion I'm King kidding. is someone coming to take the throne of the king, killing the yes, king and right. taking over, you're right, and then you're someone right. come back. That is the plot of Black Panther. That is not a race thing. That is a plot of both I films. I was just messing with you. And he is James Bond. He's and the he's Black James, James Bond. Bond. He's like, he's like his, a Black James Bond. His sister, you didn't see Black Panther? Black Panthers matter. I, guess, <laughs> I didn't see I it. I highly though. recommend I watching Black Panther. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's both, a great movie. Both Ant-Man films are very much heist films. Yeah. yeah. They very much feel like a heist comedy. Now, what do you mean he's James Bond? What, how is the James Bond? He story? has he has gadgets. His sister is his Q. His sister is the smartest character in the Marvel Universe. She's okay. actually smarter than She's like Bruce Q. Banner and Iron Man. And she makes him... Yeah, no, there's an oh. actual... There's a scene in Infinity War where they're trying to do something. And she says to Bruce Banner, why didn't you just do that, this and that? Right, right, He's right. like, we didn't think of that. And I was like, oh, I'm sure you were doing your best. I, I'm because actually, she's the smartest she's character. A, yeah, she's a great character. And in the too. comics, I think she eventually becomes a Black Panther. Yeah, at one she does, point, yeah. Which is amazing. They're getting... See, I'm surprised it's taken this long for the women to go from the fragile Vicky Vale, have to be rescued by the male character, to the they're powerful well, in and of themselves. That's why I like Wonder Woman. You know what? I don't have to be the superhero. I can clean her armor when she gets back. You, you know, really want to clean, you know, like, like, you really want to clean Wonder, Wonder Woman. With his stuff. tongue, right. you freak. Lois Lane, I have to disagree with you. Lois Lane in Superman 2, the second Superman. Very good. Lois Lane was, she was under that elevator that was going into the Eiffel Tower. Yes, she had a lot And there of was a bomb in there. A nuclear she, bomb. A nuclear bomb, and she was saying to herself, Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prize. Yeah, and she, she was telling her all and these And then they awards. wiped her memory, and she doesn't remember any of it. And she doesn't remember, which I don't know how that happened. No, that, but that, anyway. That's true. That was, all right. that was great. And, but Perry, 
just give Lois Lane whatever she has. All right, anyway. Don't argue with her. Um, but, uh, so you were saying about superhero movies being different. I know, Jessica, you'd like to talk about a superhero movie that's not, that's not conventional in any way, shape, or form. And we have a photo of the poster that we can go to. And Yay. it's uh, the Lego Batman movie. Lego Batman. Uh, <laughs> which is uh, Will Arnett as Batman, uh, Michael Sarah voicing Robin, Zach Galifianakis as the Joker, and uh, Ray Fiennes as Alfred. And to me, it's one of the best Batman films ever made. It was very well put together. It's extremely, <laughs> it's extremely well put together. But no, not even that. Like, the animation is so good that it perfectly... It's awesome. Like... It looks it looks like toys come to life in the, a way you've never seen yeah. before, and that's what one of the things I love about it. But also, like you, if you're a Batman fan, uh, if you're a fan of Batman, watch just the first ten to fifteen minutes of the Lego Batman movie. That's all you need to do is watch the first ten to fifteen minutes because the first ten to fifteen minutes is the greatest parody of all things Batman oh, it's that amazing. you will ever see. It's perfect because it's. Joker getting together with every villain, and they literally name like villains that were only in the Adam West and were only in the comic books, like Condiment King and Eggman. Yeah, and they're all in it. Eggman. Egg, yeah. That was they're Vincent all, Price. That was Vincent all Price in the Adam West. Oh, Egghead. Egg oh, Egghead. Eggman. Egg yes. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. It was, it was head. No, no, not, I'm yeah. not being critical. I'm just. Yeah, Alexander Cobblepot. That was a dissociative <laughs> mistake. Yeah, Alexander Cobblepot. Somebody right Google now. what the <laughs> name was. I want to see if I'm a schmuck <laughs> or a genius. Let's find out. <laughs> but uh, oh, my my uh, battery fell? from oh, my wait. mic fell, which isn't good. But uh, uh -oh. but uh, so yeah, the Lego Batman. It's Joker trying to do all this and. He's hijacking a plane, and the people in the... I believe it's a plane. It might have been a boat, or... It was, it was something... It was some sort of thing with a lot of people some on vehicle. it. Some vehicle. Some sort of vehicle. <laughs> some sort of mass transportation vehicle. And oh. the people who are piloting it literally turn him and go, Batman's going to stop you. Like, he's going to... And they, and they literally name all of the movies. Like, remember the time with the two boats? You remember the time with... Remember the time with the parade? And he's like, no, it's different this time. <laughs> we have a lot of comments on our... We're heavy thing. commented. Heavy commented. Heavily so, commented. We have a lot thank of people Thank you all. Watching. I want to thank yeah, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching today. Please share. Yeah, thanks. Please like the uh, Strong Island Facebook page. Um, later, we're going to have Laughter Saves Live, live on at 8 o'clock, so that's going to be a fun watch. Somebody agreed with you at some point during the thing. I agree probably with one Ryan. of my friends, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah the sign, people like the science behind, which I do too. That was really cool. Um, one of my friends asked, my friend Reed asked, what we think of Dark Knight Rises, and I know the answer because you're wearing a Dark Knight Rises shirt, and I know in the first Batman show we went very heavily talking about um, Dark Knight Rises. Should have been sponsored by Viagra. <laughs> I just want to say that <laughs> it wasn't nominated for anything, and I felt that Christopher Nolan and that entire crew that was involved with the Dark Knight Rises deserved the same recognition that uh, Lord of the Rings got for Return of the King. Yep. They deserved because that was that was the to me it's still the greatest uh, superhero trilogy because. He, it's not a comic book. He actually made Batman a real person. Mm -hmm. Bruce, he Bruce Wayne's a no, real person. It's the story of a man who lost his family, who decides to become a vigilante, and what happens when that happens. It's just a vigilante named Batman. Right. And like, now, you take away all of the DC stuff, and it's still a great story and a great film. Right. And the, and uh, the most really, realistic superhero because he doesn't need to come from another planet. No, he doesn't. Right. Knows, have, uh, somebody could really be. The two oh, most vigilante. the two most realistic, and I think why Marvel is so successful now because of what they chose. The two most realistic is Batman and Iron Man. Yes, right. Because Iron Man, can be realistic, Iron Man yeah. obviously, we don't have all the technology there, but it could get to the point where we can have that technology for somebody to be in a suit like that. Yes. So like, it makes a lot of sense, mm -hmm. and I think that that's why they started the Marvel movies with that, and it was grounded. You, you grounded the universe. You set up the world. Right. The Superman movie, they started with Man of Steel for DC. Right, right. That didn't really ground, ground the universe in any way. Right. And then you go straight from that to Batman vs. Superman, where you throw everything in one basket and just shake it up to see what happens. And that's where your mistakes lie. Yeah, I didn't like that Batman Are you listening, Superman. DC? Listening? There's a lot of great <laughs> knowledge here. 
<laughs> yeah, you yeah, listening, but, Kevin Sushihara, I, head of Warner Brothers? The only thing I liked about Batman vs. Superman is that Wonder Woman was in it. So it was my yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Wonder Woman. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was the introduction <laughs> to Wonder Woman. And, and a lot of people who saw it before I saw that movie all said that Wonder Woman was the best part. Yeah. That seeing her and, and that made you anticipate that... Uh, that a Wonder Woman movie was coming. And yep. they did a great job with that. She and pretty what badass. made her really awesome, like in any of these things, like we were talking about all these movies, it all comes down to the musical score. <laughs> and the Wonder <laughs> the Woman Hans Zimmer music, score. The is Wonder amazing. Woman music is fantastic. <laughs> my only issue with the music, and this is only something my generation has an issue with because we've all kind of picked up on it. The score, the specific the Wonder Woman score sounds very similar to the Spy Kids theme. I don't know that. And mm. it's only something my generation understands. You millennials, but if you put you both everything. together, they're very similar. Freaking um, millennials. Yeah. It, no, it's us millennials kids. in the spot. You don't need to. It's spy kids. Um, <laughs> okay. If you're going to watch any of them, watch the second one where Steve Buscemi has an island that's run off mystical creatures that he created. It's a made of spider monkeys. I can watch that. And, and lizard <laughs> snakes and stuff. That's a good. That's the best one. Spy uh, Kids 2, The Island that. of Lost Dreams. Oh. I like both of them. And the villain the is, in that one, is Mike Judge. Is the villain. Oh, that's I love a, Mike that's Judge. A, that's a great, that's the best okay, one. Okay, okay, I will have the to Danny watch that Elfman for sure. The Danny Elfman score was fantastic. Danny Elfman score. And sure Danny was. Elfman came back for Justice League. Who did the, who did, yes, and they started putting in older like with yeah. Batman where you heard like you heard that. a little bit of the Superman Scores. you heard a little bit of the Batman of not the enough not, not enough. enough totally not enough um, you heard of, who was the guy I forget who Hans did, Zimmer Hans did the Zimmer. Dark Knight trilogy who did Wonder Woman right and he Same also person. did Air Force One and a lot of other and he's gonna do one he's gonna do Wonder Woman 2 as well Wonder Woman. <laughs> so Wonder Woman. We're gonna start. We're gonna start getting into our DC discussion. We're gonna play a video. Okay. We're gonna play a video about um, one of two things. Um, <laughs> And we're going to play this video. When we come back, we're going to start talking about DC in general and not just Batman. So we're going to go to this video right now. Two, 
again. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and do the hand motions. It's all about the hand motions. Pew, pew. It gets more <laughs> views. Um, <Yeah. laughs> but we're back with our uh, this Benny TV with our second ever Batman episode. Um, Ryan Rizzuti, Benny Rizzuti, Jessica Colazzo, John Santo here. Um, please like, share. Uh, please like the Strong Island Facebook page, guys. Share. Share as much as you'd like. Share with your friends. Share with your loved ones. Share with your loved ones' friends. Um, <laughs> so we've been talking a lot about Batman. We're going to start going more into DC as we uh, wrap up. Um, so we were talking about Wonder Woman. <laughs> um, Wonder Woman 1984 comes out next summer. Can't wait. Same director, cast. Chris uh, Pine is coming back. Is she going to have, like, big crimped hair? 80s hair, right? She had the same... There's one photo release, which is her looking at, like, um, like a news. It's, like, a, her reflection looking at, like, a news thing of, like, TVs. And, like, her, like, I guess seeing, like, what the world's become. Is it, like, And she a has cold, the same hair. Is it Cold War? I guess it's going to be Cold War-esque. Um, Cheetah is going to be the villain. With Cheetah? Cheetah, who is one of the big Wonder Woman villains, and it's Kristen Wiig. Really? Is, really? is playing Get Cheetah. Out of here. It's Kristen Wiig. Wow. See, comedians make the best superhero actors. And I actors. think she. Yes. There's a lot of backlash and speculation about it. I think that she would be. She probably would be able to toe the line between being like funny and being aggressive and crazy. I could see her being great at that. Why wasn't there backlash when Jim Carrey did the? Because there was no internet. In 1996. <laughs> oh. I was standing up for the woman. And also, <laughs> also, the second Batman Returns did not have a lot of comedy, really. It wasn't right, really right. that funny. And then they were... They had jokes. But they funny. bring the Riddler in to be like Nicholson. To right. do... To be well, that's supposed to that be. That comedy. supposed to be. Yeah. yeah to right. bring the comedy relief in. But Kristen Wiig was in um, The Martian. With uh, yes, she Matt was. Damon, and she was she was, she was no, great. Now. She's done a couple of dramatic roles, and she was good. I um, what's that movie with Bill Hader? Um, was it uh, the Skeleton, Skeleton Twins? Skeleton right. Twins, which yeah. is like a more of a dramedy. I never saw it. Comedians and are the most versatile, with the smartest and most <laughs> versatile people in all of show. But business. not the best looking, <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> But the smartest and the most versatile. No, I agree with that. One. And we don't need to be, we're not like pampered people that need to, you know, with the trailer and all that bullshit. We are ready to go right away and we know our lines. Hey, yeah. speak for what? yourself, sure. man. Like, we're not prima donna ish. I don't know. I, I think I well, speak for all of us. Well, you are, but the rest <laughs> of us are. I think I speak for all of us where, I like, where I'd say I'd love to see Danny McBride as uh, oh, a Green yeah. Lantern. Oh, my God. I'd love, I'd love <laughs> well, to see him in anything. There is He's a Green awesome. Lantern that's uh, kind of comical. Well, so. yeah, no, there, there's a lot of Green Lanterns, so that could actually work. He could be a Green Lantern. It could I work. I could see him doing a voice of an alien actually oh. very well. But like, who was yeah. that? No, who was that one? Uh, Hal Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. He's kind of comical with a dog Green Lantern. Yeah, but yeah. no, Hal Jordan's the main Green Lantern. Oh, not Hal Jordan, then. Uh, I'm thinking Bucky of the guy, Starship. I don't know the guy with the haircut, with the weird haircut. Guy Gardner? <laughs> guy Gardner. That's who I was thinking. The guy of. with the haircut. The, yeah. He's <laughs> the one who taught me. Back, like he's the one who taught me Green Lantern characters when I was like seven. Now he doesn't remember anymore. <laughs> I'm forgetting, but. Uh, uh, but speaking of Green Lantern, going more into DC, there's heavy speculation. I was talking about on the show uh, last week when I was just rambling for an hour mm -hmm. um, by myself. You haven't watched last week's show where I ramble by oh, an hour. Watch it. And I tell you not to watch uh, The Mummy with Tom Cruise. <laughs> um, you should watch it. I'm not as anti-Tom Cruise as I was last week, but um, there's speculation of Tom Cruise being Hal Jordan in a Green Lantern film. Really? Where it would be, he is like the mentor character training a new Green Lantern. Okay, I was and the, say, the rumor like is 60? He's, he's getting up there. The rumor is he would die at the end mm -hmm. to pass the torch, but he doesn't want that. And that's, like, the issue right now. Scientology won't allow it. <laughs> no, he's not allowed to die. He's their god. Um, he's in Top he, Gun 2, which is science. finally coming Now they're going to follow my car. Really? And, uh, um, next year, yeah. Another thing yeah, Top Gun 2 with uh, Miles Teller as Goose's son. Val Kilmer's coming back. Hmm. John Hamm and Ed Harris just signed on for that. I love John Hamm. Ed Harris? Ed Harris, yeah. So, yeah, Top Gun 2. Top Gun 2. Um, All right. So it's not it's not Green Lantern, but you know. <laughs> True. But uh, so yeah, the, uh, dude, this is going off on a tangent. Okay. Okay. Um, but you were here to prevent this from going. I, off yeah, on you know what? I'm not going on a tangent. Forget it. <laughs> no, forget I'm it. So no, no, so no. Shazam comes out in Shazam. April. 
I'm excited. For I'm that. very excited for that Shazam. Looks really good. Um, Shazam's one of, in my opinion, one of the biggest Shazam and Aquaman, which comes out at the end of the year. Shazam is DC also, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it was originally Captain Marvel, and then they changed the name to Shazam. Is it going to be in the Justice League? So what DC is going to do now, because Justice League disappointed box office wise a lot, and fans aren't a big fan of it. Um, I like it a lot more than Batman vs Superman, but it's Me still too. not a great movie. Um, but what DC's supposed plan is, for the next five or so years, they're only going to make standalone movies and just focus on making the characters strong so that you care about them when they cross over in a Justice League movie. That's smart. So they're so going to do... going to see another Justice League for five years? For probably five years. <sighs> All right. Can so I they're going to do... But by that time, you'll have a three, <laughs> maybe four Wonder Woman films. Excuse you'll me. have probably two Shazams. Two Aquaman movies. You'll have the Batman film. You'll get another Superman film. I don't need any more Wonder Woman movies for me to care about the character. I love the, the character. Is, <laughs> ben Affleck is going to OD by that time. So. Well, that's why there's speculation of him <laughs> anyway, leaving the role. Ben leaving wants to say something. Marvel is better at crossovers than DC. Yes. Okay. They always were. Okay? I'm a big DC fan. One of the things I loved about DC Comics back in the 70s you read it, the one comic, or maybe there was two or three, and that's it. End of story. Right. They weren't Marvel. Yeah, had to read it to be continued. Read right. another one. DC does that now, but Marvel was always better at crossover, and DC was always more story driven. Done. Right. They got away from that. Yes. They're trying to. Pl they're playing catch up with Marvel. Th that's what they've been but doing. But don't you yeah. think like a movie like where they were in the Justice, like the whole Justice? And something big happened, and now they all have to go. No, that would be you don't like that. No, because okay. that's how they all all those. You were saying earlier that all these movies have an origin, and then they all they all, uh, the, they all the, do what that. I don't so like about I the do Justice League, it's a villain nobody knows about. Nobody you don't care about. This guy, right? yeah, and no it's just another him. you know. And Thor Ragnarok, which some people love. I'm sorry. I do love is, it. I right. will fight you right yeah. now. <laughs> but. There's always that one villain they're going after. Enough with That's that. That's his sister. Yes, it's, it's his sister. It's different. And she's uh, it's Kate Blanchett. It's family. It's right. Shakespearean. What they should have done, I'll tell you what they should have done exactly. with the Justice League. <laughs> they should have, with the Justice League, had Brainiac, who is Superman's greatest villain. But they were saving him for the Krypton TV series. Which is terrible. You were which big it, on it for like two weeks. I was weeks. big on it because it was... I watched the first episode and I didn't hate it. That's how I felt. Right. <laughs> I didn't hate it. Nancy, I liked it for a while, but then as I'm watching oh, yeah, it, I'm like... Oh yeah, mom couldn't get into it, right? My wife, Nancy, couldn't get into it. And I was after a while saying, you know, they're really not on an alien planet. They want you to believe they're on an alien planet, but they're drinking beer and getting drunk at the bar yeah, and they're acting yeah, like. Yeah, that kind of takes you out of it. And there was nothing alien about it. Can right. they make a Paradise Island movie just <laughs> about Paradise Island? No man in the movie, just except I me. think. Uh, <laughs> except me. There is I think a that's movie. called your dream. There, there is a movie about that. Um, I'll let you. I'll, I'll give you the name. No, I mean later. like a DC big budget. <laughs> I would love to live there. I mean, it might have had a big budget. It's a, probably it's a, not there's DC a porno Wonder Woman. That's what I was saying. That's what we were trying to not say. Yeah. Oh, all right. We were trying to say it without saying it. Oh, I didn't know. I'm that. sorry. <laughs> a naughty Wonder Woman. I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> of course who, who, you knew. Who plays Wonder Woman? Just out of, <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity. No one we know. I no. love this Wonder Woman movie. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's actually Sybil Shepherd. Really? No. No. <laughs> I think it's a great movie. I want to learn more about the Wonder Woman. Yeah. Bill Clinton's a big Wonder Woman fan. But uh, with DC, I like that idea that go do the stand and do another. I love Green Lantern, as Ryan said. I love that. That was one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. And they destroyed that. I can't even watch that entire movie. Right, right. I, I, I do, but it's like. <laughs> It's like it, like when you get Lame. divorced and you like go to watch like your wedding video like after like and you're just like sitting there like crying eating like popcorn. It's like that, but with Green Lantern. <laughs> like that's literally what it. Like I sat in the theater with my friends, and one of my friends um, was a really is a he is a really huge Green Lantern fan. My friend Steven. And I'm a really big Green Lantern fan. And we're sitting in the theater trying to come up with reasons why it's not the worst thing we've ever seen. Right, right, right. Like, we were just, like, trying to come... And then, like, halfway through, like, I think this is pretty fucking terrible. Like, but You know what's bad about watching a superhero movie in the movie theater? 
is some of the people you're sitting with my mother aren't that normal my mother <laughs> no, 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 no. no I, I know what you she's <laughs> one, she watched Avengers at home and she's like yeah I can't do this at home fucking get him get him get him Thor like she's sitting at the screen punching it a friend of mine <laughs> saw, yeah, the, saw the uh, Batman in 1989 right and you remember the scene when the bat wing goes up in front of the moon and it looks like this yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it goes the guy behind me is going that's so cheesy that's so cheesy like some like people nerdy are the guy worst yeah there's oh, some weird yeah. people the, in the theater the so. nerds the ultra nerds in the theater weird people. are very annoying the first time I saw Batman vs Superman I had to see it again because I was in a bad theater I'm not going to say where it is but if you know where I live you know what theater I'm talking about um, <laughs> and it's a crappy theater where do you live and I slipped <laughs> oh, um, I, it's, I a, <laughs> it's a crappy theater, and um, the sound quality isn't great because it's coming more from the front. It's not really coming around you, mm -hmm. and the theater was packed. It was packed out, so you could barely hear the movie over everybody talking the whole time. Oh, sucks. And well, like when be electrocution. The the, be the best part of the movie is when my one friend started like making fun of the movie towards the end. When spoilers for Batman vs Superman, Superman dies. And Lois Lane just picks up the dirt and puts it on the grave. My one friend, Anthony, just like loud enough for like five rows to hear. He goes, mm, yeah, that's some good dirt. <laughs> yeah, that's some, that's some good dirt. And then like as the dirt starts to move at the end, he's like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, it's the dirt. It's that dirt. Mm -hmm, is that good dirt. That's why I thought Superman was going to pop right out of the box. That would have been cool. He popped out and then the movie ends. And you would have been like, I don't care that that movie was terrible. Yeah. But we, yeah, we talk know. about... Uh, superhero movies a lot my son and I and he said that it would have been if they killed him in the Justice League movie it would have had a greater impact yeah no if you didn't kill him in Batman vs Superman you saved it for him to die at the end of the Justice League movie right. showing them all come together and the only way for them to defeat this enemy with all of them together if Superman had to sacrifice himself right, that right. would have had such a bigger impact than oh I've met you for like an hour and I don't right. really know this girl but we're gonna fight this dead guy that I fought last time and killed and now this time he's gonna kill me and I didn't like because uh, Martha. I didn't like the Lex Luthor. <laughs> because Martha, I hate. Why did you say that name? I yeah. hate him. I hate Lex Luthor. And Lex that Luthor was, was terrible. Was awful. It was so awful. Horrible. I would have liked it more if you established that there was a nut. Like they, yes, he's Lex Luthor Jr. and supposedly he has a father that was a Lex Luthor. If you had an actor, let's for argument's sake say Brian Cranston. As an older oh, Lex yeah, Luthor, who wasn't awesome. a bad guy, but you thought, oh, this must be the guy, and then misdirect, it's right. Jesse it's Jesse Eisenberg. Mm -hmm. He's the real villain. Sprint that would have worked. That would have... I mean, he retires from Jake acting Eggman after good, he made though. that Romano anyway, movie. I loved... All right. I loved after anyway. Welcome to Mooseport, he retired. Did so, he? Yeah, because who watched oh, Welcome to Mooseport? You didn't. Oh, I didn't. God <laughs> didn't. Ahem. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> since we're going to wrap up, I just want to, my closing thing is, uh, if you love Green Lantern, go out, go to a comic book store, because I last time I badmouthed comic book stores, and I apologize, I went into Next Generation Comics in East Islip, love the place. There you go. That's they my have, comic book shop. They have great nice stuff. No, they have great stuff, and you can still get Green Lantern Emerald Dawn. Get Emerald Dawn, it is... Uh, a gra they call it a graphic novel. It's a little thick. Mm. And it is the origin of Hal Jordan. And it's a better story than the Green Lantern movie there's, ever. There's, there's a lot of other... Um, and they, they've made other comic books in the past 30 years um, with Green Lantern that are also really good. Um, Brightest Day, Blackest Night, um, the, the uh, War of the Green Lanterns, where all of the Green Lanterns turn evil. Except oh. for the Earth Green Lanterns are the only ones that don't get corrupted. So it's four against like 40,000. And that's sure. a really good story. Uh, most of them are written by Jeff Johns, who is one of the people behind a lot of these DC movies. He wrote, he co-wrote Wonder Woman and he's writing Wonder Woman 2. So he's like, he was supposed to be their Kevin Feige of running everything. And he's like, I'd rather just focus on individual films. Mm -hmm. I think that'll work. Because you have actual comic book writers in there now, like helping. So. Nice, nice. Do not okay. change Wonder Woman's costume. No redesign. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's going to be the show. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe we'll do this again. We'll do a more broad superhero talk next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll do Marvel next time. Yeah, that, yeah. Right. Now we can branch out to Marvel, and I can tell you why you're wrong about Thor Ragnarok and why you should watch Black Panther. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll Bye. see. You, we'll see you soon. Have a great one.
Merry Christmas.